Hey guys, Jim Bounds at Motorhome Rehab Ranch. Watching some of the social network here recently, man, I realized how there are so many new folks that are interested in these motorhomes asking very, very good, but very, very basic questions. There's a recent thread about tires. And it is so important to know how to judge your tire, right? So here, let's, talk, let's spend five minutes. And you guys <clears throat> may get a little bored with this, but there are folks out there that need to know these things, and it's important. Because you look at a tire, tires ain't pretty. They're all black. And you look at them, and, oh, there's a little bit of dirt in them and stuff, but they look okay, and the thread's got a lot of tread in it. They said, well, yeah, I can get them home with that. Well, you might be able to. Understand that the wear of a tire is not, well, there's two wears. One is the tread wear. The mileage does that. The other is internal wear. The adhesion, the, the uh, synthetic rubber, okay, whatever it is, the adhesion qualities of that stuff break down to the cords after about five years chemists can kind of judge that they can make things last longer but at five years uh, it was probably determined that the tires that uh, would run would go would wear their tread out and they have to have uh, I'm sure it's more expensive to make rubber to last longer so they make it last about five years then it starts to break down so what a tire looks like is half the story Okay, I mean, if the guy was Forrest Gump and started going across the country, he would wear his tires out. But usually on a motorhome, it's not being driven every day. Now, when it's driven, it's driven a lot of miles, it's true, but it usually sits more than it's driven. So when you look at the tires, you probably won't see a lot of tread wear. Okay. The important thing on your tire, and these pictures will be below uh, on, the, on the Patreon site, the thing that's important on the tire is the date code. Now, unfortunately, a lot of tire stores will put the date code on the inside. It's only on one side of the tire. And they'll put it on the inside of the tire because they don't want to talk about it because maybe that tire's been sitting around for a year. Because, I mean, you know, it's not factory fresh. I mean, it's not... Uh, they they get they gauge it on which year it is. Well, it has to go through distribution. It has to go through the manufacturing process and it has to be transferred to the to the uh, uh, distributor and then all down the line and and that coat that tire could be a year, two years, and three years old. Now, the deterioration of that adhesion starts at the day it cools off not the day you put it on your 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 uh, your coach so that date code is extremely important as to see when that tire was made because that's the second part of figuring out if you can drive that tire i would much rather have a tire that's worn out as far as the tread but the date code is a new a new tire because the tire is stronger after five years the cords that, that uh, are made up to make the tire start to pull out and they start to separate and the adhesion lets them go. That's why you've, you've heard separated tires, you see a bump on a tire. What happens, it goes like this and, and the pressure starts to push out and it bumps up. Uh, you don't even want to get close to that. You don't want to get close to after five years, <clears throat> especially on a GMC. You say, why? Well, if you own a Corvette, you never have tires over five years because you know that if that tire blows, it's going to blow the side of your car off because it's all fiberglass, right? Well, not totally right. It's actually plastic. After 1969, <clears throat> Corvettes were made out of plastic. Well, guess what? The Corvette plastic is the same SMC sheet mold compound plastic that from the body side molding down, our motorhomes are made of. So you need to look at it like you're driving a 26 or 23 foot Corvette. 
and you never need to, you never want to take a risk on blowing out a tire because it will do damage. All right. All right. So where is this elusive date code? Usually on the inside of the tire right here. Yeah. Come on in right on the side of the tire in a spot. It's an oval right there will be four digits. In this case, it's 3710. That means this is the 37th week of 2010. Yikes. Well, that's an old tire. Let's go to something a little, little newer. Here we go. This one is 1722. See right here? That's the 17th week of 2022. Well, that's 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 a current tire. That's a tire. That's off of my coaching. That's what we're using. So these four digits, first two are the the week, second two are the year. Okay. If it's over five years old, do the math. Uh, I wouldn't drive it over thirty miles an hour, forty miles an hour at max, and go straight to a tire store. Okay. Now what's going to happen to the tire store? Bubba's going to look at that and go, oh, that's, that's a pretty daggum new tire. I like that tire. Shoot. Oh, there. We'll, 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 we'll dispose it for you for free. He'll put them on his mudder and he'll run them. You say, well, I just gave up a good tire. No, because one day that tire is going to blow and it'll be on his mudder and it won't hurt anything. All right. A five-year-old tire does have a value, but not to you, not to a GMC motorhome owner. Here's, an, here's one. Look at the picture below, but this tire code is 498. Ooh, well, this is not four digits. <laughs> That's the 49th week of 98. Really old tire. And there's no cracks. To, I mean, it doesn't, it's black, just like everything else. That is an ancient tire. I should call the Smithsonian on that. Okay. So you need, you need to have tires that are less than <clears throat> five years old. Now, if you go, if you're buying a coach and it has steel rims like that, <clears throat> chances are it's a 16.5 inch rim. They are not making 6.5 inch tires all over the place anymore. Currently, in, uh, on uh, September 17th, 2024, yeah, 24, the only tire that I would buy would be a Firestone Transforce uh, HT2, that's a highway tread, uh, uh, size is 8.75 times 16.5. Okay, and that's the, the rating on 16.5 tires is different than than uh, set than 16s. So it's an 8.7 times 5 times 16.5 E. E means it's 10 plies. Uh, uh, D tire is an 8 ply. D tire will be less than $100. E tire will be less than $200. But you really need the uh, E rating, not the D. I'm very sorry, but it's important. Uh, it has to do with the uh, weight transfer on the tandem wheel suspension in the back. If you uh, purchase a, uh, an older coach and it has 16.5 inch rims, you want to jack it up and spin the tire and put a pencil next to it and see if the rim is square, see if it's straight. If it, if it moves back and forth like this, that has run out. And think about this. A, a tractor trailer, fully loaded tractor trailer with steel rims should be moved back and forth because the rims will bend from the weight. Motorhome's sick. So you want to be sure that your rims don't have run out. And if you find that a 16.5 inch rim has a run out, brother, that tells you when that you need to go to 16 inch rims. There are any steel 16 inch rims. You're going to have to go to aluminum 16 inch rims. And there's a whole rabbit hole about that. I'd rather not talk about it here because some people will go to sleep. But if you find that it's time to go to 16, or you're buying this as a core and you're going to build it up, 
you certainly want to get rid of those 16s, those 16 fives, those steel rims, the steelies. And you want to go to a 16 inch rim. Now, some folks are going to 17s and that is the future. My personal opinion right now, you can find 16 inch tires anywhere, even at a car tire store, even if you had to. So right now, 16 inch rims are the way to go. And uh, I've done some more videos about uh, rims and uh, uh, different brands and uh, 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 hub center and lug center and all that. Look in this uh, file for other videos about tires and you know, you'll talk about that. But what we wanted to do here today is to talk about your tires and are these tires good? What's really terrible, you put on new tires and something happens and your coach sits and you only use it two or three times and you look at the date codes and it's over five years. And you go, oh man, I got to spend another grand. Well, nobody said it's going to be cheap. You got five years to use your tires. Think about that next time you wonder if you should go somewhere or not. You need to use your tires. Well, look, guys, thanks for the time. I hope this was something in here to help you. If nothing more, go check your date codes. Go hug your coach at the same time. All right, guys, thanks a lot. And uh, hit like and ranch hands. See you next time.